Hi folks and welcome to another episode and welcome to a 200,000 mile Tesla Model 3. We've maintained this from almost new, it's had a few warranty repairs but I want to show you around it and show you just how well these cars last and would I buy one at 200,000 miles? Let's have a look. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. So, 200,000 mile Tesla Model 3. I've got the near side front wheel off uh, just so I can show you the brakes. Um, now, this is an Uber. Uh, amongst other things, it does other work, but it's, it's a taxi um, and it gets driven hard. The guy who drives this does not hang around and... I wanted to show you how well this has lasted. I'm going to tell you what it's had spent on it, what he's paid us for working on it, and all the various other bits and bobs. Now, the main one that we get asked about on cars that have done high mileage, electric cars, is the traction battery state of health. Uh, so I'll overlay that now. It was 88.1 just before 200,000 miles. It's on 200,700 and something, I think now. But let's have a quick look inside. So this is what I want to show you. So this is an original seat, 200,000 miles. Now, whenever the car goes anywhere, there's somebody in this seat, but that is not worn at all. There's no wear on the bolster. The seat swab's still in good condition. It has had a seat sensor. So when you jump into a Tesla, you the car recognizes that you're in it by the fact your bum's on the seat um, and it powers the car on or off uh, and that did go faulty so that's one thing it's had um, and then if we come in and i just want to show you the all this still works absolutely perfectly um software so there you can see there this is actually what's called a p minus so it's a performance model but it doesn't have all the kit on it there's not many of these around it's a bit of a rare car but 200,752 miles so no doubt in that now as it's been a taxi these seats have been used a lot as well and you can see there that seat is in very very good condition and also the rear seats they're also in very very good condition just pretty much as you would expect I mean you wouldn't jump in this car and think it has done 200,000 miles you would know it had done some miles but you wouldn't think 200,000 I think maybe 60 70 80 um, now there are some bits of wear and tear uh, now I'm going to show you those now this is a common issue can you hear that door hinge they all do that really common doesn't matter how much you lubricate it they all do that clicky noise on the early ones now if I come down to the front wheel arch you can see we've got some rash here on the sills where the paints peeled off he didn't fit mud flaps I don't know why I did tell him about hundred and eighty thousand miles ago but he said it's a taxi I'm not that bothered so with that he didn't have them but you can see that um, and that is not covered under warranty so I mean 200,000 miles what do you do the rest of the paint on the car is not in such bad condition um, it had the normal lights replaced in the early days because these uh, used to mist up um, also this morning I've replaced this for him he's a guy that likes his music and if I can just get my finger under there just there is the amplifier so that's for the sub um, and he would get about five minutes into his journey and he'd lose his base it would keep dropping out he bought that for 120 quid from a guy in Lithuania I chucked it in this morning and he's happy with that that's working okay no water leakage or anything like that um, all the seals look okay so yes Now, he was doing a lot of city driving in the early days, uh, and he was going through tyres every 23, 4, 23, 24,000 miles. Um, he is running cross climates. Um, however, his work's changed a little bit. He's doing a lot more long journeys now. He's doing a lot to the south coast, um, and he said that now he's getting well over 30 out of them. So that's good. 
I think that's just the use case. If we come back round here, we can see he's hit the mirror. Um, this actually, when you fold it in and out, when you, it automatically folds in and out, it works okay. I think probably I could hot glue gun that and stick it back together. Um, but yeah, it's had a bash, but it still works. Come back down to this corner here and there's some more rash. Um, you can see where that's gone right down the sill. I can't recommend having um, mud flaps enough. I really can't because that would have mitigated all of this. Not the Tesla ones, the ones off Amazon. That's what I've got. And yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Do the job. Okay, I'm just gonna come in here and look at his caliper. If you can see the pads there, the pads are worn, but please remember this is 200,000 miles. You don't get 200,000 miles out of a set of distant pads off any car. Not in my, uh, not in my experience anyway. Um, and if we look at the disc, tiny bit of score in there. Got a little bit of corrosion on the outside, but this would go for an MOT. That'd be fine. No problem at all. It has had anti-roll bar drop links. We've replaced these. Uh, I think we replaced them at 140,000 miles. So we did those. And also under warranty, it's had these top control arms. But everything else is original. Every single thing in here. Uh, it's not had CV gators, CV joints. It, well, it's had nothing, absolutely nothing. Also, I'm not sure if you can be able to see this, but there is two control arms down here at the back somewhere. I can't even feel them, but we had to replace those. Um, they actually what happened was the bush uh, uh, the, the arm let go of the bush and slid down the bush uh, so it wasn't a failure of the bush as such it was a failure of the bonding material between the arm and the bush um, that was a bit of a pain in the backside uh, but yeah we've got those done but all in all his total bill for maintaining this from us has been 808 pound that excludes tires um, that includes his servicing and it includes his uh, his pollen filters, his arms, uh, the top arms were warranty, we didn't do those, link pins um, and he's had a brake lubrication service where we pulled the pads out and um, cleaned them up and made sure they're all okay. Okay so the big question is would I buy it? Yes and that's because you could probably buy this for 15 grand, maybe a little bit less. I'd want the paint doing, uh, that's a grand to have them sills and them arches sorted out. I want that mirror sorting out, that's probably another 250. Uh, and there is a chip in the screen, but it's an MOT pass. Bit, bit difficult to argue that one if it's okay, it's been treated. But that is still a very, very usable and workable car, bearing in mind the life that it's had. Uh, and if I was going to use it as a personal vehicle, it's going to be nothing for it really. I suspect there's probably another 200,000 miles left in that battery before it even starts looking like it's not going to perform to the standard that I would like. If it degrades at the current rate, it would be at 75, 76%, if I've done that right, 76-ish percent at uh, 400,000 miles. I'm guessing a lot of you are wondering how it drives and I can tell you, having driven it just now for about three or four miles, it drives just like any Tesla Model 3 that I've driven before. There's absolutely no difference apart from this is a P model and overtaking this tractor, it's just ridiculously fast, absolutely obscenely quick. I can't imagine why anyone would need that sort of speed for a taxi. Scare the life out of your customers, but a bit of fun nonetheless. There is something else to consider here folks and that is the fuel savings so we've already seen that our maintenance is massive he's had no camp outs no air filters oil filters fuel filters oil changes uh he saved on brakes without a shadow of a doubt i'm sure there'll be somebody who comments and says i've done 400,000 miles in my car and it's an suv and i've never had distant pads uh-huh sounds genuine to me um but he also has he also saved on CO2. So apparently over 200,000 miles against an equivalent uh, internal combustion car, he would have saved six tons of CO2. That doesn't include uh, uh, brake pad uh, particulates, uh, CO, um, 
sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and all the other bad emissions that are attributed to burning fossil fuels. And at this point, somebody will comment and say, I've got a clean diesel, really clean. Uh huh, heard that all before as well. That's just not a thing. But the fact remains, this car has done 200,000 miles, it drives absolutely beautifully. This test drive alone would make me want to buy it, as long as I could get them little bits done. The, um, the mirror, I'd want the mirror sorted, I'd want the paint rash sorting. But I would not hesitate to drop 15 grand on this car. Not at all. Obviously, I'm in a Tesla Model 3 performance, and for some reason, I don't know why, I just assumed the performance would have dropped off as it had done 200,000 miles. So let's just give that a quick go, just from four miles an hour. Oh, Jesus Christ. 60 in a blink of an eye. If you own one of these cars, folks, you are in for a very cheap, easy motoring life. And I know they're expensive, they were, they're not so much now, but you've got to factor something else in. This is going to stop you buying a new car and you're going to save money there because you just won't need one. You know when people get to 80,000 miles and they get cam valves changed and water pumps and the bills start coming in? Them days are gone. Well, they are if you own one of these. Okay folks, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this will give you a good insight into what these cars are capable of doing and the, the maintenance costs. Bearing in mind this is a uh, Fremont built car, so not, not as good as the, the German and Shanghai built uh, vehicles. Uh, it's done really well, really well. I'm, I'm very impressed by it. So right, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Kate Phantom and we'll see you soon in another episode. So bye for now. I'm gobsmacked by that. What? It drives the same as any other Tesla I drive. Well, why wouldn't it? Because it's done 200,000 miles. Yeah, but most of it's not on the motorway, so it's not. Yeah, but 200,000 is 200,000. Yes, the so you said the first 70 were done round yeah, Derby. Yeah, Derby Nottingham. Nothing rattles, the interior doesn't rattle. Do you know, the only thing I thought was that little bit on the end. Is that a rattle? Yeah. You sure it's not those mints? There? No, no, it's this. Oh, I've never even noticed yeah. that. But the all the switch gear, the windows, just amazed by it.